All right. Well, today was a productive day. I literally woke up and worked all day on the computer, uh, researching boats, pricing what I'm going to have to pay, uh, just depending on the situation that the boat's in. So just looking on Craigslist, looking on uh, boat listings and several different websites. Then I had to research and start pricing what it would take to rebuild engines. I'm really excited because we got a couple of really good potential boats. Um, the main one that we see that I found is a uh, Sea Wind built in uh, 1963 and it's down in Key West. It's selling for $6,000. Um, it's a catch, 30, 30 foot. Um, so small, but just just in the length range that we're looking for. So Allied Sea Wind, this is the one I like the most. We'll call them first. The guy who is selling it, um, his name is Scott, started restoration while he was on chemotherapy, and that his cancers took a turn for the worse and is forcing him to sell. Um, she's ready for the next person to fall in love with her, he says. Are you sure you want to start with the one you're most excited about? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Scott. Yes. Hi, Scott. My name is uh, Jordan Wicht. Uh, I'm calling in regards to your uh, Allied Sea Wind 30. Yes. Uh, I'm I'm inquiring first of all if it's still for sale. It is still for sale. Been doing a lot of research about the the company and everything, and it's it's got a really cool history. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that because um, that's you know that's how you fall in love with this boat. Um, because I, I'm terminally ill, and I've been terminally ill for, I guess I, I found out I was terminally ill a year ago, September. But I did different kinds of chemo and they kept it at bay. And so I, I got this boat as a project, and thought I, you know, would have had more time. The, the um, top side is all very solid. There's no, you know, no stepping on soft spots anywhere on that top side. The rigging looks, is in really good shape. There's just a couple little things that I found that I would do. The guy who had it before me, I think what happened was at some point in time he broke his sobriety and he started letting the boat kind of go to pot. And then he, um, and then his daughter got a hold of it and she lived aboard in the list. I was struggling with it and she had these cats and she brought the cats aboard. And by the time I got it, it was just a mess. It had taken on some water at one point. Um, the bottom is the, the, the hull and, and every, all of the underside is in very good shape. It just needs to be hauled out and painted. Well, we just got off the phone with Scott, and he was a really nice guy. Um, seems like he's going through some health problems, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, it seems like this is his, his dream boat. So as far as who he is and the opportunity at hand, it seems like a good option. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a really passionate guy who's got a really serious boat, and it was designed to cruise. A lot of what we can do is try and make sure that he understands that that's exactly what we want to do with it. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll let you know if plans change, but uh, and I'm sure I'll call you anyway. But otherwise, uh, it sounds like I'll see you on probably late Friday, if not early Saturday. Yeah. So just talk to Lisa, uh, Scott's sister, and uh, sounds like we're going to try and get down there on Friday uh, to Key West. Alright Cooks, you excited? Mm -hmm. What are you most excited about? Um, I'm actually excited to meet Scott's sister. Also, it's going to be my first time on a sailing vessel. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that's a cool way to do it. First time on a boat and you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just as a disclaimer, it's not my first time on a boat. <laughs> surrounded by them and they welcomed me with open arms. Yeah, I'm 
To asking price for such a well constructed boat. I feel like at that asking price, like I'm willing on I'm willing to take on just about anything. Okay, so let's go over exactly the process after it's after we check it out. Um, and I like it, theoretically. Like what's what should be the plan? Since it's our first boat, we'd, we're gonna get it hauled out and surveyed anyways just to help us like do a project list. I just wanna get a surveyor's opinion mm -hmm. before I commit the whole cost. Mm -hmm. Um can I give you, like, what, $500, mm -hmm. and I'll live on it. You excited, Cax? Mm -hmm. What are we doing today? We're gonna get a boat. Are you big guy? Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Are you beautiful? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, somebody told <laughs> Are you excited, right now? I'm very excited. What higher way are we on? We're going overseas today. Woo! So we're on the highway that's uh, actually in the ocean right now. My uh, John Casey's sailboat maintenance manual. Check it out. Uh, just going over, uh, kind of surveying um, a sailboat. You know, ways to recognize problems. <laughs> 